What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 Ranked Battle Session. I'm actually back home right now, I'm working off my laptop, so I, I don't have like the audio presets, the acoustics might be a little bit different, but just ignore that, hopefully it won't be too bad. But today we're going to be continuing our climb back into Master Ball tier after not playing for a couple of months, and I'm going to be continuing to use this Reggie Drago team, and yeah. If you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And that's for my comment question of the day. I actually don't know what, what my comment question of the day would be. Um, I, I guess what your favorite steel type is. Who knows? <laughs> I, I usually try to make it related to the video, but I feel like, you know, Reggie Drago might be the star, but we are still using this the Zacian, so you know, we have to give it we have to give it some love. It's it's our main Pokemon. It's our it's our restricted. So yeah. Last time we actually saw Reggie Drago put in a decent amount of work. Um, and something to note is I'm playing off of my laptop through OBS, so I don't have a monitor for my Switch to directly put out to. So there's a little bit of input lag on my end. Hopefully that won't cause me to, you know, miss a... How do I say it? Hopefully that won't, that won't cause me to, like, not be able to input my move at the right time, if that makes sense. Because, like, I might run out of time thinking I have, like, two seconds left. Uh, looks like just standard Xerneas. They obviously have stack attack, which is kind of good versus us, but I think we have the options we need to beat it. Uh, I can go ahead and lead off Gothitel. I do have a decent amount of speed EVs, so I should be able to outspeed and center and fake out it, or fake out just about anything on lead. Along with that, I can lead off with my Zacian. So I'll go with that. Uh, they do have three fairies on this team, so Regidrago is going to stay at home. Uh, I would enjoy bringing Rillaboom to this matchup quite a bit. It seems to be very nice. And I think my last Pokemon, um, I could go Focus Sash, Regieleki. That actually wouldn't be awful, but also I could make a case for the Incineroar, just for the extra fake out uh, and the Intimidate. But I think I'm going to end up going with Regieleki. Yeah. I mean, I have three fake outs on this team. I really don't need, <laughs> I really don't need three in every single game. Okay, let me make sure my audio is recording. Looks like it is. It's a little quiet. I might have to fix that. As they lead off with Regieleki and Incineroar, they are pretty much trapped in here on their Regieleki. Uh, what I could do is... Ooh. Ooh. I could get rid of this Incineroar right now if I went for the fake out and the close combat into it. I think it should KO. I'm. It's going to be close. I'm going to go for it. I don't mind taking damage on the Zacian, especially if it's just going to be a Volt Switch to get out of there. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to get rid of this thing. Hopefully I'm faster <laughs> with my Gothitelle. I do have some EVs. I mean, Gothitelle is a whole 5 speed over Incineroar, so I think 4 speed should be enough for most Incineroar. As we are going to get off our fake out, let's see if it flinches immediately. Yes, it flinches immediately. It's going to go for a freaking thunder. Oh my god. Please live. Don't be specs. Please live. Please. Oh my god, they're specs. I just lost my Zacian. I... Huh. Well, good game. Um, I think I just lose now. Jeez. Oh my... That's got to be specs, right? There's no way that just KOs, and they didn't take any Life Orb recoil. Yeah, I mean, I have nothing for I have nothing for Zacian now. I just or for Xerneas, I just lose. So I'm, I'm just gonna forfeit there. Jeez, wow, that was quick. <laughs> I thought I got him, uh, but unfortunately, I was the one who got got. That took two seconds. Okay, let's try not to get tilted by that. Continue battling. That was that was 100% Specs Thunder. There's no way that just straight up KOs. Huh. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> okay. So, this is just... I mean, it's not Torn Ogre, but it's like Whim Ogre. Definitely think Regieleki is going to be really nice in this game. Uh, Regieleki got the talk. She seems very nice for a lead. In the back, they only have... I guess they do have two fairies, so Regidrago might not be the play. Definitely want to bring my Zacian. Definitely want to bring my Rillaboom, so I'm going to go with that. 
yeah, Gothitelle's fake out on lead is going to be pretty nice. Um, if it is Whimsicott, I should be able to just like Volt Switch out on that and get back in my Rillaboom for another fake out. I want to run that Calc, but I'm scared that my PC is not powerful enough because I'm, I'm working off a laptop right now. I'm scared that my PC is not powerful enough for me to record my audio in Audacity, my in-game footage on OBS, and then run a Calc in the background. I'm scared that that might like make it explode. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too scared of the Galarian Zapdos. It might be a little bit of an issue. Galarian Zapdos is always a Pokemon that I seem to underrate on, um, or underestimate on lead. But I didn't lead off with any kind of an Intimidator. In fact, I didn't bring an Intimidator. And I think Galarian Zapdos really needs that to be good. It really needs to, like, scare off Incineroar. So it goes Zapdos Whimsicott. I'm pretty cool with that lead, actually. There's a chance it's, like, Quick Guard Zapdos. If it is Quick Guard Zapdos, I still get off of Volt Switch, so I might as well just do that. Actually, I might just fake out the Zapdos. Nah, I should fake out Whimsy Hut. Zapdos protects, that's fine. Still pretty cool with this. Now, I should still be able to go for, like, a Psy Shock and a Volt Switch. They have to Tailwind here to outspeed my Aleki. So I'm more than willing to double into this. Just in case it is Sash. And they can't knock out my Aleki here. As far as I'm aware, Zapdos doesn't get any multi-hit moves, and I am Focus Sash, so I should be fine. They could be running U-Turn, though, which would make sense here. As they stomping tantrum, that's fine. Gonna go down to Sash. Keep my Mon. And I might pick up a KO here. We'll find out if it's Sash or not. As it is not, which means I get some damage off on the Whimsicott, which is always great. And I can get in my, uh, my Brilla... Uh, I can't speak. My Rillaboom for free. <clears throat> so we'll get in that. Fake out's looking nicer and nicer. I can even fake out Trick Room this turn, technically. And then I have a lot of offensive pressure. Getting rid of the Zapdos early was really nice. See how much this does? I'm going to say like 50. Eh, not quite. It brought it down to 50, but that was like 38. So they send in the Kyogre. I mean... How much do I fear the taunt? I kind of want to make a very aggressive play. And fake out the Whimsicott. I mean, I could also just Grassy Glide Trick Room and it wouldn't really make a difference. That almost seems safer. Because <clears throat> even if they go for like a... Um, even if they go for a taunt on my Gothitel, I don't lose much because I still attack the Kyogre. So really, I I'm not going to... Hmm. No, I'm just going to Grass Glide. I could fake out, but I'd rather just get damage on whatever comes in in case they double out. Let's see if they have Taunt. This Kyogre protects. Looks like no Taunt, because it would have gone first. So they Moonblast me. And yeah, this thing... <laughs> I mean, I can just Wood Hammer now. There's no need to Grassy Glide. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wood hammer that uh, Kyogre slot and go for another Psy Shock into this. Uh, go for another Psy Shock into this uh, Whimsicott here. Do they have an Incineroar? I have to double check. I mean, actually, they can't even switch out. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, let, let me wood hammer this. They, they can't switch out on this. It's gone. They've lost their Kyogre privileges. I think they forgot that they can't double out. And I forgot they can't double out. I'm so not used to running freaking Gothitelle. All right, that's, that's real interesting, bud. But I really didn't need that Trick Room after this turn. Oh, wait. It works like that? It takes precedent? What? Why does it work like that? That's kind of crazy. I had no idea. 
I had no idea. Anyways, I should still tank this. That's crazy. I had no idea you could uh, do that to reverse Trick Room immediately. Still lost their Kyogre, though, so... <laughs> I think that's game. A lot of very interesting stuff going on in this session. Yeah, as their last Pokemon's Rillaboom, they just lose. They have no way of beating the, um... They have no way of beating my... My child. My, uh, Zacian. So what I'm gonna do here is just go right into Aleki. And that gives me a free switch to my Zacian. As they forfeit. Yeah, nice. That was... I mean, so far it's been a pretty interesting video already. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, we find out a new interaction with Encore and Trick Room. I thought that that would just force me to um, Trick Room at the end of the turn. I didn't know it like swaps the priority around. Huh. I wonder if you could use that tech to immediately reverse Trick Room for yourself by like Encoring your own Trick Room setter, but that almost seems not worth it. That almost seems like completely not worth it. All right, got a little bit of points there, which is nice. And sorry if you guys hear anything. I'm, I'm at home and these walls are paper thin. Okay. So pretty interesting team. Uh, it is a Zacian team, but it looks like they teched on Tyranitar as like a pseudo way of dealing with weather of all sorts. So like sun and and rain. Like, you know, they have a they have an answer to that. I don't know if you bring it to rain. It looks like more. It, it looks like you'd bring it to sun more than anything, but. Um, they have two fairies, and one of them is Tapu Fini. I think my Reggie Drago existing would incentivize them bringing that, like, every time. Hmm. Alternatively, I could play irresponsibly. I'm going to make it into Master Vault here regardless this season. Like, it, it's a given. I, I've never really failed to do that. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to play irresponsibly and hope that it works out. Is that what I'm really going to do? No, I really shouldn't. <laughs> I should pretty much always bring um, Incineroar to this matchup. Yeah, I'm not going to play that irresponsibly. <laughs> that would have been really bad. That would have been really bad. But imagine if they let off like a Moongus Incineroar and then I just get a free double KO. See what it is. Oh my god, I would have gotten the free double KO. I'm so upset, man. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Uh, on the bright side, we should be able to do a decent amount of damage to this um, to this Amoongus. So I think I'm just going to fake out Psy Shock. They might have Snarl. I would assume they have Snarl, but I still like the damage in the Amoongus. Getting rid of that early is going to be really nice. And then I can just U-turn Psy Shock it. Man, I'm so upset. I could have actually just gotten like crazy damage on lead with fake out Gothitel plus Reggie Drago. That would have been so nice. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I figured they'd lead off with like Zacian or or Tapu Fini or something. But no. Right, that was good damage. They just go for Thunderbolt, which is awesome. That's actually just awesome because I should just be able to U-turn now. I believe that's in range of another. Maybe I should U-turn and Psy Shock this turn just to be safe. Yeah, I think I'm. Just, I'm thinking I'm gonna U-turn and Psy Shock. I really don't mind the damage coming out from the Raikou. So even if he protects and Thunderbolts, it's like whatever. Yep, that's fine. I'm just gonna do the same thing next turn. They snarl me. Ooh, that might actually make a difference. I mean, I can go into Incineroar in U-turn here. I think that's my play. I think my play is going to go, is going to be get in Incineroar for the Gothitelle since I am safety goggles. And then just get back in my Gothitelle for another fake out. 
And then this thing's still trapped, so. I am safety goggles and sin right? I did change that. I have to double check, because before it, was, it wasn't safety goggles. Before it was some other item. I think it was like figgy berry. Yeah, I am safety goggles. So what I can do here is go right into Incineroar. And then you turn and get back in the Gothitelle, because they should never, ever, 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 ever go for a spore into the uh, Rillaboom. Which makes this pretty safe. So they snarl. Awesome, awesome, awesome. U-turn. Get some nice damage there. That's always in range of Flare Blitz now. Getting our best friend Gothitelle. Shadow tag him. Surprised they didn't Volt Switch. You'd think they'd Volt Switch by now. And there's the Spore into the Incineroar. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now one would assume they would always go for a uh, Protect here with their... with their Amoongus. So my play is actually going to be to Snarl on this turn. Oh, I don't have Snarl. I forgot I'm running Taunt. Uh, I suppose there's no harm in just going for Flare Blitz then. In case they don't protect. And uh, I also can't flinch this thing, so I'll just side Shock for damage. If they protect, that makes sense. They're running Scald. Ooh, okay. Luckily, I always live that, so... It's whatever. We should... Oh, that was a crit. That was a crit. Uh, we should get rid of this uh, Amoongus now. Is it in range of Psy Shock? Because if it is, I might... Nah, nah, I'm fine. Just a Flare Blitz. I'm fine. In fact, I might double. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Um... Nah, that's, that's in range of Flare Blitz. I don't need to double. I'll just Psy Shock this thing again for damage. They may even protect. Yeah, there's no way it lives from this range, right? They'd have to crit me with Scald. Is they go for T-Bolt on the Gothitelle. No Paralysis, awesome. Psy Shock should be doing a decent chunk of damage here. That's in like range of everything from Rillaboom now. Go for my Flare Blitz, get rid of this thing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the Grassy Terrain should put me back in range where I can actually be above half. All right. I would expect Zacian to come out here. Yeah, there he is. So I think my safest play is going to be going right into Rillaboom. I don't mind losing it at this point in the game. And going for a Protect here. I could go for a very aggressive Trick Room, but I'm kind of scared that they might call that. And just try to double into the Gothitelle slot. Because Cycling Incineroar is like always your best play here. And even though we're in Great Ball 9, like, you know, I can't expect them not to make a good play. Obviously, ideally here, they would go for the Gothitelle as they Swords Dance. That was aggressive. 
That was aggressive. Luckily, I have Fake Out plus Trick Room now, which is going to be very useful. They scald me. Don't burn, please. Okay, no burn. So I'm going to go ahead and Trick Room up. That was real aggressive. Fake Out, Trick Room up. I think what I'm going to do here is just let him take one of my Pokemon. I kind of have to let him have one of them. Because I can't safely switch an Incineroar without getting rid of something. And I'm willing to make that trade now. I'm willing to make that trade. Because I should always take the Raikou away now. So they protect. It's going to cost them. No burn, please. Ah, they get the burn. Okay. Um, that means Rillaboom is my most expendable Pokemon now, which is fine by me. What I'm going to go ahead and do here is... I'm going to revoke their... I think I'm going to revoke their Raikou privileges. And protect my Gothitelle. So I would hammer the, the Raikou just to be safe here. And protect. And hopefully they just target the Rillaboom. That should always KO from this range. Nice. All right, Behemoth Blade and Gorilla Boom, please. <sighs> Dang it, okay. I might be able to pull something off. Depends what's in the back here. I think what I'm going to do is get in my Incineroar and you turn out Gorilla Boom to get back in Gothitelle, and then I have double fake out, and they're trapped in there. All right, there's their Incineroar. Well, I'm going to assume they would fake out my Rillaboom and just go for the Gothitelle immediately. So I'm going to go for Incineroar here. I protected last turn. I mean, it's worth the double. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Three turns of Trick Room. Okay. It's worth the double. Nice little Intimidate off. I fail. That's fine. Call the Fake Out correctly. Hopefully they get rid of Gothitelle here. Because I don't think Incinera takes this hit. Alright, nice. Now I actually have Fake Out on this turn and two turns left to Trick Room. Or I could do something really aggressive. If I... Okay, this is going to be really aggressive, but I think it's worth it. I'm going to fake out their Incineroar and go for a sub. Because I think they have to protect their... Um, I think they have to protect their Zacia in this turn. Two turns left to Trick Room. Yeah, that's my play. Fake out the Incineroar. Sub up. And if I win a speed tie, it doesn't matter if they don't protect. Because I really don't lose much. Yes! Okay, I got it. I got it. That's awesome. Got my substitute. Oh 
Okay, and now on this turn, I'm actually going to Parting Shot their Zacian. I could also just Flare Blitz. I could double the, the, the Zacian. Or I could just Flare Blitz Protect. That's fine, too. Honestly, it's just the Zacian I need to get rid of. Flare Blitz Protect. Hopefully they target my Zacian now. As they forfeit. Awesome! We got that win. Managed to pull that one out, but they, uh, out from beneath their feet, which is really nice. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Sorry if the audio is a little bit different or if maybe the video quality is kind of weird because I'm exporting this on a laptop. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. And let me just see what my rank is. It's probably not that much higher than from where we started because I lost one. Let me, let me check that real quick. Update rank. Yeah, I mean, one more and I'm, and I'm an ultra. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. I appreciate all that. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.